Hi, thanks for joining us for another episode of Money TV. I'm Don Belarjan, so glad you could be with us. Money TV is the program all about money and what makes it happen. You know, for a couple of weeks now, a grassroots movement's been taking place. It's called Occupy Wall Street. It's a growing effort. It's spawned similar protests in cities across the country. Mostly 20-something people have banded together to protest what they refer to as the growing gap between the haves and the have-nots, specifically targeting, as they've been saying, the top 1%. Now, the movement has no apparent leadership. It's being supported by that great communication technology of the 21st century known as social networking. It's indeed a fascinating phenomenon. The last time we saw this kind of groundswell of human action was during the 1960s and student protests of the war in Vietnam. In the 1960s, however, there was no internet, there was no smartphones, no Twitters. Uh, leaders had to emerge in the anti-war movement to get the message out, organize protests, and take their ideology to the media. And back then, we only had the three networks. During times of social and economic stress in the United States, it's not unusual for social protests to emerge, but it's still too early in the development of Occupy Wall Street to determine exactly what the agenda is. Right now, it looks like a big party, and it's hard to say whether or not these kids are going to end up getting bored and going home. But people are frustrated with the continuing economic difficulty with high unemployment, people losing their homes. The folks that are involved in Occupy Wall Street said they took their inspiration from the protests in the Arab nations this past spring. Now, I find that interesting because those Arab protests were aimed clearly at their governments, which is what I believe is exactly where the protests in the U.S. should be aimed. Our government leaders have failed us on both sides of the fence. Spending is bordering on insanity, threats of government shutdowns, economic default, and the loss of our stellar credit rating, all in a matter of a few months' time. Organized labor unions in New York have now joined the Occupy Wall Street effort, and you have to wonder if the purity of the movement is not going to be lost because special interest groups are starting to get involved. I think they're protesting in the wrong place. They should call this Occupy Washington. Now, here's something that's never the wrong place. It's our toll-free number, 888 259 Good from anywhere in the world you're watching the program for information about our featured guests. When you do call, be sure and ask to be added to the subscription list of our Money TV e-alert. It's our newsletter. It's an email publication. It is free. Again, toll-free, 888-259-4449. On your mobile phone, just text Money TV to GO800 or 46800. Please visit us at MoneyTV.net. We can watch this program again right on your computer. We'd love to have you like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter.